what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to bypass the frp on a samsung android 14 phone now this phone that i have here is actually samsung galaxy a55f and this phone is running on android version 14. now to bypass the frp is quite very easy all we need to do is to download the latest android version 15 firmware for this particular phone so we are going to upgrade from android 14 into android 15. now by doing that is actually going to delete the google account so that way when we are setting up the phone we will need to provide the right google account for the phone so we have successfully bypassed the frp so we don't need to provide the google account credential again so what we need to do here now is to download the android version 15 firmware for this particular phone now the good part of this is that you don't even need any frp unlocking software or tool all we need to do here is just to get that firmware and then we'll upgrade from android 14 into android 15 and that way we'll unlock this frp screen so firstly we want to go ahead now to confirm the firmware that is installed that is currently installed on this phone and i also show you that this phone is running on binary 9 right so let me go ahead and then power off the phone all right so once the phone is off then i want to hold these two buttons together the power button and the volume up button power button volume up button combine the both buttons together so once the phone turns on then you release the power button and you keep holding the volume up button so we can get the uh to the recovery menu now you can see here so this is it here guys so here you can see that this phone is running on android version 14 right and the binary is actually binary 9 so how do you check the binary of your phone so just count five from the right hand side so this is one two three four five so in my own case nine is the binary number of this samsung galaxy a055f right so when we are trying to download the android version 15 firmware we'll make sure that they are on the same binary number now if it is not on the same binary number it is not going to work right and this is going to cause a problem when you are trying to flash the firmware using the odin tool so you must make sure that the android 14 and the android 15 they are all on the same binary number right so i'm going to reboot the phone now so we're going to confirm the uh, the frp lock screen so we'll confirm, once we we'll confirm that the phone is actually locked then i'm going to switch to my laptop screen so i will show you how to download this exact firmware once we download the firmware, then we'll download the uh, the Odin tool, which we will now use to uh, flash this phone and then bypass the FRP screen. So if you are new to my channel, here I make several unlocking videos here on my YouTube channel. So if you are new, I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the like icon, and let me know in the comment section if this method is able to unlock your Samsung Android phone. So let's wait, guys. Alright, so let's proceed to get to the uh, to the lock screen menu so we can confirm that the phone is actually FRP locked. Okay guys so you can see here now that this phone is frp lock this is the frp lock of this phone so i'm going to click on use my google account instead so now you can see that it's requesting for the google account so that's to show that this phone is frp locked right so now what we need to do here now is to proceed to my laptop so i can show you how we can download the android 15 firmware for this phone so we can flash it to android 15 so we'll upgrade from android version 14 which is currently installed on the phone into android version 15 all right so by doing that it is going to delete the google account and we'll successfully 
bypass this FRP log. Now let's get to the laptop screen. So here on my laptop screen, I have two files here. Now the first file here is the Odin tool, which will enable us to upgrade from Android 14 into Android 15. So we can go ahead and then bypass the FRP lock on this particular phone. Now the second file that I have here is the firmware version for this Galaxy A55 F, the Android 15 firmware, right? So I've already downloaded it. Remember the phone that I showed you, the phone that I showed you, the A5 that I showed you is running on Android version 14. So that's the firmware that is currently installed on the phone. So, but here we have the Android 15 firmware, which I just downloaded. So I'm going to show you how you can download firmware on your PC. So what I'm going to do here now is open my Chrome and then you want to search for some F w.com so here what you want to do here now is to type in the model number of your phone so in my own case i have a, a samsung a055f all right then you want to scroll down So you just scroll down, scroll down. As you can see, so this is these are different firmware for the phone. Here you can see uh, this is the Android version 15, right? So and they are on the same binary number. That is why I showed you that you want to make sure that the phone is on the same binary number with the Android version 15 that you want to upgrade to. Right. So if it is not on the same binary number, you are going to have issues when you are trying to flash the phone using the Odin tool. So you want to ensure that they are on the same binary number. Right. So once you get here, you want to select any any of this firmware. scroll down and then you click on download you can download it now here if you want to download the individual file one after the other you can scroll down here to download any of them now we have three different uh four different sets of files here we have the bl file the cp csc uh, the csc and then the ap file so these are all the files that we need to get uh, this phone flashed all right so if you want to download everything together so this is where you can click on any of these to get download all of them at once all right i already have that downloaded on my pc so this is the tool here so firstly let's go ahead and then install the odin tool which will enable us to flash the phone so here i'm right click and then i'll extract okay so i'm also going to extract the 115 firmware for this my phone that i have here so i want to extract So once it's done extracting, so let's go ahead and then open the Odin tool. So here you can see, so this is the Odin tool. So what we're going to do here basically is to load the BL file, the AP file, the CP file and the CSC file and then we proceed to uh, flash the phone so here let me go ahead and then open so this is the these are the different files here right so let's let's load them one after the other so i'm going to click on the bl file on my desktop so i'll load the bl file and then let's wait so i also open the uh, the ap file Now this AP is actually going to take a couple of times before it's we load on the on the Odin tool. So let's wait. All right. So once it has loaded, now let's proceed to load the CP file. And then finally, let's load the CSC file.
all right so after loading all the files now the next thing we're going to do here now is to put the the phone which we want to unlock into uh the download mode so we're going to get the phone into the download mode before we proceed to uh flash the phone all right so guys to put the phone into the download mode i'm going to turn off the phone so once the phone is off what you want to do here now is to connect your usb cable to your pc right and then what you're going to do here now is to press and hold the the volume down button and the volume up button press on press and hold on the both buttons together and then you go ahead and then insert the the usb cable Now you're going to get a menu like this so just press the volume up button to continue right so this we are now on the download screen here you can see it has picked up the phone it has dictated the phone so what i'm going to do here now is to go ahead and then click on start now let's wait for the process to complete So you can see how uh, the audio is done flashing the phone so here you can see it's a pass now let's unplug the the charger from the phone now let's uh boot and see if this method actually worked if we we'll still get stuck on the on the frp screen now guys if today is your first time here on my channel i'd like you to subscribe to my youtube channel click on the like icon and drop a comment let me know if this method that i just showed you worked on your samsung phone now if you have any question as regards to this unlock kindly drop your question in the comment section and uh, i'm going to attend to your question
all right so here we have it android 15 on samsung galaxy a055f so here you can see the phone is fully unlocked now you can see the color this is android 15 right let's go ahead and set up the phone now you can see that the phone is fully unlocked guys this is actually working it's actually working we don't need any frp unlocking tool to do this guys like you just need to you know just download the android 15 firmware and you get your android phone unlocked right so here i don't want to connect to any wi-fi network i'm going to skip all right so you can see here guys we successfully unlocked this uh, samsung phone fully frp unlocked now you may want to ask me what if my phone is actually on android 15 and it's frp locked now i'm going to tell you one thing that you need to do now if that is your own case what you need to do is to downgrade to android version 14 provided that it has the same binary number with the android version 15 that's on the phone so once you have confirmed that you can go ahead to downgrade to android version 14 then after downgrading then you can now upgrade back to android version 15 now that way it's going to delete the google account credential right so that is a quick on how to do this if you find this video interesting guys i would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel click on the like icon and let me know in the comment section if this method worked all right so see you in the next video bye for now